outside is the bicep femoris, which has the same attachment at the top here. Um, and then if we bend the knee, you should be able to, and on your own knee, feel that thick tendon. Yeah, and then on the inside edge, you'll feel a skinny tendon and the yeah. thicker one underneath. So the skinny, real flicky tendon is semitendinosis, mm -hmm. and the thicker one underneath is membranosis. And then this side, you'll definitely feel this bicep femoris tendon. Okay, so that's the tendon at the back. So it goes, fills the gap. Mind the gap. It's kind of like that. I've drawn it leaning across, but it goes to head of fib. Okay, and the other attachment is actually on the shaft of the femur itself. So the kind of second head of it is an attachment on the femur. So it's got attachment on the fib, attachment on the femur, and then ischial tuberosity. So I've covered the whole back of the leg. Yes, I've got a gap there. Shouldn't really be gaps. Yeah. And up here, you're going to have the glutes coming in. So that's what that gap is. And the gap at the front here is going to be for reductors that we're going to do next time. Okay.